Hi, I'm Anand Chimpy from AnandTech.com. I'm joined by Rob Crook from Intel, Charles Liang from Supermicro, and James Myers, also from Intel. And we're here to talk about PCIe SSDs and NVMe. So SSDs, you know, you guys got in the business in 2008, and, and they started out kind of as like a hard drive replacement, uh, but we're well beyond that today. Yeah, you can't optimize right away. You need to fit into the hole that's already there. And uh, now we're ready to optimize for the mainstream. But really, we're Intel, right? So we want to drive standard. We want to drive re-optimization around the whole platform uh, to really unleash that capability. And NVMe was that standard. So we work with the industry to get uh, drivers into the OSs in a standards-based way, uh, to get standardized connectors, uh, and uh, to get some great products out there. And, and that's what we've been uh, working on. So we have uh, one of these here, and uh, this is a two and a half inch version of that re-optimized for a standards-based uh, PCIe interface, and uh, we're able to get up to two terabytes in this one form factor. And then we're also uh, doing a PCIe add-in card as well, which is a little more common, and that's uh, something that will plug into existing systems uh, in the PCIe add-in card slot. Charles, can you tell me about, you know, as from a systems perspective, mm -hmm. how is the introduction of NVMe and, and PCIe-based uh, NVMe drives, how does that change your approach to, to system architecture? Indeed, uh, with uh, this generation uh, NVMe design, indeed it's uh, relatively easy for system company to fully utilize the NVMe advantage. For example, most of our today's server storage, we just need to change the middle plane and um, install a PCI NVMe car, and then the system will be enabled right away. And in the new design, yes, we have a, a PCIe bus from CPU directly, connect CPU directly to the NVMe controller. So that's like uh, what Bob just mentioned, uh, even uh, much less uh, latency mm -hmm. and even lower in cost. Right. and while improve our performance. And with today's uh, Geon CPU, each CPU provides 40 lane. So DP CPU provides 80 lane. They can support up to 20 NVMe hard drive. So kind of uh, easy to scale out the uh, capacity, the uh, performance. And uh, for those old systems, uh, if the motherboard do not support PCIe directly from CPU, then we provide an add-on car, very simple add-on car, PCIe, and then we have a bridge and connect the signal to the hard drive, then the job is done. Yeah, we, we really appreciate the collaboration uh, we've had with Supermicro around co-validation of these products, and we've been doing that with companies like Supermicro, as well as trying to make this a broader industry standard. So getting the drivers into the inbox versions of the operating systems to make it easier to deploy, uh, creating plug fest to ensure that uh, the systems interrupt well uh, with our products to make it easy for the IT guy to deploy. Do you see a lot of people today shipping with PCIe or SATA or SAS? How, do, how does that breakdown look? Uh, today for sure, uh, SAS and SATA are majority. While those are high performance system, people uh, use uh, a PCIe. But with now NVMe new form factor available, this obviously provides much easier to upgrade, and much uh, easier for all different configuration, even for higher capacity. See, I mean, uh, Robert just mentioned about this two terabyte. Yeah. And in lots of our system, in 2U, we support 24 slot. So 24 times 2, that's 48 terabyte. And we have a new architecture in 2U, we support even up to uh, 48 uh, slot for this. So that's how big the capacity Almost 100 terabytes. <laughs> Let's ship some more of those. In 2U, yeah, be great. And, and that kind of product available pretty much waiting for your release. Yes, I'm ready. With this new family of NVMe products, the, the shift has kind of moved from, you know, you've got quality, you've got IO consistency, you've got reliability, um, but now it's, it's much more about latency. Absolutely. So uh, we've been working on this controller for quite a while, and we've been taking that same DNA that we created in the 35 and 3700 that create the performance consistency, as well as managing NAND and making sure that we're doing all the background activities correctly. And we included that into the controller and then added on an NVMe interface, which was not really a small task, but there's a lot of reuse within the controller for all of the back-end power management, all of the, the management of the thermal throttles, making sure that the background data moves are all managed well so we get that performance consistency, but then we can scale it up in performance with more parallelism within the controller as well as that PCIe interface, moving to a Gen 3x4 PCIe interface. 
architecturally, how does you know how does this differ from uh, you know kind of those those traditional SATA controllers? You're obviously you're dealing with much much lower latencies. Is there anything you have to do at the fundamental building blocks any differently, or was the the old design you know just already capable of handling all of that? Well, we definitely had to make sure that there's a very simple path from the interface back to the NAND. Try to parallelize it as much as possible, add cues where it makes sense, and try to simplify that. And there were some optimizations in transitioning to PCIe and managing multiple cues from the interface, but each of those cues look fairly similar to the original 37 and 3500. We also built it on the same worry-free protection that you get in these other products. The end-to-end -end data protection, the power loss protection, that sort of thing is sort of a fundamental element of the architecture for us moving forward. The thing about NVMe is, one, we have some awesome products uh, that are going to be great for this. Uh, but also, this is more than just about our products. This is about an industry standard that right. Intel is really yep. good at driving yep. across a broad yep. set of customers yep. where we're doing interoperability. This isn't about a single SSD product. This is about us driving sure. the industry forward on a new standard uh -huh. from the platforms to the customers to the OSs to uh, the and drive user. itself. One thing I love about what you guys do is you always publish a ton of technical documents and, and information about this stuff. Uh, users want to know more about it, where do they go? It's simple. Just go to intel.com slash SSD. Awesome. Thank you all for watching.